Good day everyone! I just want to show you a video or slush a vlog using only our Osmo Mobile 2 and our phone which is the iPhone XS. So this is the Osmo Mobile 2, our phone basically. And then on the Mobile 2 we also have you know some buttons that we use. We use the power button, the record button. And we also have this button right here, which is like a joystick, like an analog stick, where if you attach your phone right here, you could control it. Basically, you can control it, go, go up, go down, go sideways. This is what it is for. And we have the zoom bottom, which is right here. And then the modes right here, the modes. One click is basically, what's one click? One click is for like, um, it just stays on the picture like it just stabilizes on one picture another click to make it free double click on the mode settings will put your video at default like let's say you put your video is tilted forward you double click it and it will go straight default where it's pointing at three clicks for mode is for um basically three clicks is just going either front camera or back camera that's the only up that's the only usable for three clicks is to show you backwards or front camera to turn it on you just press mobile mo um the mode settings and it will turn on like this turn it off do the same thing until there's no light and for our app guys i use an app called dji go which is you can just download it on the app store or the android store just click it right here and then let me just turn on my osmo mobile so you can see what's going to happen so to connect your device to your osmo just follow the instruction and it will show you everything that you need to know so let me connect it right here so as you can see, I mean, it's not connected to my mobile right now, but that's how it should be. And then you have options right here. Basically, you have on the camera mode, you have a video mode. On the video mode, you have standard time lapse, hyperlapse, motion lapse. On the camera, you have, you know, your your, your normal um, single camera, long exposure camera. You have a square, you have a timer. It's very useful on just filming or vlogging or whatever you guys wanted to do to mount the device i just hold my osmo put my phone right here at the mount push it towards the end and then i balance it we actually need to, need to balance it in order for the motor not to get not to work hard and then spend all our batteries together so to balance it, we use this two knobs to balance it. First, I balance this one. I, it, you just need to pull and push, like unlock it, and then you push or pull, depending on the weight. So I just push down, hold it, kind of see if it balance. Nope, push a little bit. That's it. I like this one. It's, Look perfect to me, looks better, so I lock, I lock it. Next is this, this side. So I do it like this, facing down. I unlock it, going to the right. Right there. Touch it a little bit. Let me see, let me see. Go right here. Looks pretty balanced to me. But for if you want to balance, you just push this one, it goes too bad too heavy on the other side and then this one until you balance you basically need to just play with it until you have the perfect balance you need to you don't need to be perfect you just be balanced enough then we lock here like here and then I will turn it on all two seconds and be on like this I don't know if you guys could see it but it's on like that and then I can move it like I said the bottom will move your phone your adjustments like that go up go down and then the rest is history so I hope you guys 
I hope I show you a little bit of information about our Osmo Mobile 2 and enjoy the video.